The Earth says, Cool the climate, please. It's hot. Those carbon dioxides are nasty. <clears throat> Ugh, talk about nasty. My bad. You know, Simon, you create nasty gas, too. <sniffs> I'll say, what's worse than a hippo fart? No, I'm talking about methane. It comes from poop and traps the heat, too. But it doesn't have to. <sniffs> That's powerful stuff. It certainly is. But this powerful stuff is what's called a renewable energy. Gimme guitar. The power of poop. The power of poop. The power of poop. Poop, 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 poop. A cocoa bird without a clock. Then let's buy a clock. A biofuel. A living fuel. We can make energy from smelly stool. Methane is another sneaky greenhouse gas. And it's a big part of poop. A little poop, no big deal. But at huge animal farms, watch out! The United States, for example, has over 100 million cattle. When they poop, fart, and burp, a lot of methane goes up, up, and up. But we can stop these sinister little fellows from cooking our planet. Ah! The methane from poop can be converted into electricity. Okay, methane, now you're surrounded. Get to work. Ah! Now we've been trapped! This poop could power seven million homes. But until we start really using this power, it's better to eat less dairy or meat and not create bad methane in the first place. Hamburger? Thanks, but can I have the veggie burger, please? That sounds good. Can I have one, too? Sure, that'll help stop climate change. We must do something about the power of poop. The power of poop, the power of poop, poop, 